Hey farm hands, Ryan Nash here from Farm Boy Reef. So we're back here for the Joker build. I'm in my new location. So I got a few things that we're gonna do today. Um, so here, it's, the, it's all painted up. It's all been done for my reef weeds as you guys can check that out. She did a really amazing, excellent job on that. I'm pretty happy with that. Plus uh, she did the, t the top for what goes on the glass. So it's pretty cool and all this is UV painted. So you guys can check out Reef Weeds. She's on Instagram, Facebook. She does a lot of great, amazing work. So moving forward, so the base is all complete. <clears throat> uh, remember we sealed up the, the, the glass that where all the gumballs went into. We put the bottom in. I put a piece to go through here with the, the airline. So today we're gonna put the airline, hook up the air pump. We're gonna get everything perfectly, gonna get all mounted up. We're gonna add the sand and uh, hopefully we get around, we'll add the water and we're gonna get this cycle started in this little baby. And then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount a light over it. I have a, uh, what do I got here? I got an AI uh, 26 HD that I have a mount and we're gonna mount that right over top of it so it's gonna look pretty sweet. Can't wait to do that. So, and <clears throat> I got the little mini air pump. This one's good here for up to five gallons. Plus, when you have a pump, you wanna make sure to put a little valve in there so no water can get back through into uh, the little air pump. And um, we, plus, we have to aquascape this as well. So I got a piece of, uh, piece of live rock we might use. A couple pieces of some nice SPS, uh, some dead coral, that help decorate it. And then we can actually you know, put some zoanthids or whatever on there so they can attach and grow. So we have to get the sand in here, get this all aquascaped up, get some water mixed up, and uh, we'll get this little Pico tank all up and running. I'm pretty excited about it. So let's go ahead. First off, what we're gonna do is, uh, we'll put this to the side. We're gonna, there's a hole right here where it used to be threaded, uh, there used to be a threaded rod down through here to help hold the bubble gum machine on. So this is where I put, we're gonna put the air line up through. And that's why on the bottom, I almost put this thing here perfectly in the middle so the air line can go right into that. So we're gonna have to do that, feed that right through, get this all mounted and solid. Um, and I'm gonna put it right beside the Yoda build. It's gonna, I got a nice, uh, this is a wall mount. It can mount onto uh, your tank as well. It has a couple of uh, it's like bolting connections you can use. These ones here is from uh, Aquarium Solutions D and D. They sell these. They're they're awesome, and they just hook right into the. You just take there's the grooves in the top of the LED. You just hook that right in here, like that, and it just hangs. So you guys see it pretty easy. So you can have it on your wall or hooked on your tank, and it's a really really awesome mount, really well built. So just a few things that we're going to be uh, doing today. Most of all, we're gonna learn, we're gonna have some fun, and we're gonna get this tank up and running. So come on in guys, let's check this out. All right, farm hands. so I got the airline we're gonna use. There's the, see the hole in the bottom? Goes right through. So this is what we're gonna do, we're gonna feed it right up through the bottom here, like this, just keep it on the edge. And then what we're gonna do, this is where I got the, the line, it's just a little lock line that we're just gonna lock that right into there. But first off, what I wanna do, it's a little tipsy on here, so I'm just gonna put some, uh, two-way tape around the bottom and then it can go right inside the edge here and it can stick right in so it's gonna be perfect so we're gonna do that first so I got some uh, I got a roll of two-way tape so we don't want that glass falling out of there so we're just gonna go around the edges like this it'll be hidden down inside so we won't see it Let's just get an estimate right about there. Wish I had a pair of scissors to make this life a little easier, but not happening today. So we'll just bring that right to the edge like that. Make sure it's hidden first. Let's go like that. So you can still see a little bit of the blue, so I have to lower that a little bit. So lower that a little bit more. Try it again. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's pretty decent right there. So you guys will just a couple spots. I'll just have to work with it and then it'll hide it out. So it's pretty decent. So we have that ready. So I'm just going to pull that off. So now we can just fold the rest in. Just like that. It's good. So now let's feed up our line. So we're going to lock the line right into the lock. Go like that. Make sure it's all the way in there so she's not going to leak. And we'll just feed that down in here. So I just want to pick the cleanest side. So there we go. So it's into place. So I'll just have to work around it a little bit here. Just make sure it's all nice and snug and level. Just like that. So I'm just going to play with that a little bit more and then uh, we can start adding the sand. All right, farm hands. So now this is into place. See, I have that tube in the middle. I don't want any sanding in there right now. I'm putting it in it. So I just, you know, grab an electrical marette, just stick it in the top of the hole. I usually use one of those when I'm doing reactors too and I fill them like full of roa or carbon or whatever. So I got the sand here. I'm just going to start pouring it in. And uh, we'll see how much we got in here. A little bit more. And just start spreading it around. Good to have some sand in here. I like the looks of it. Plus, you know, good place for uh, bacteria to grow. Just a little more. Looking good. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I think that's just about enough right there. So right now, we got the sand in. Now we're just going to have to do a little bit of aquascaping here. See how we're going to figure out what we're going to do. So I got a little piece of live rock here. So doing this is just like we just have to sort out how we want it to look. You know, do we want to put one chunk like that and the piece of like dead coral? in here something like that maybe what do you guys think it's not too bad like that actually I like it so I think that we might just leave it like that so all we have to do I'll bring you guys in close here you guys check it out but now we just have to get some water first we got to finish hooking the pump up because we don't need water going back through the line and then we got to figure out the mount to put the light on here as well but I think that looks pretty decent, so I'll bring you guys in to check it out. All right, firm hands. So we got the sand in there, and we got the live rock and a piece of dead coral. You guys can check that right out. Turned it all right. Probably could just if I want to add a little more later, I can. But at least we got that far. It's looking good. So what I want to do now is I want to finish up uh, getting the pump in. So we got the pump. We got to get that underneath as well. Get the little valve in there, and then I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna mount the light onto my desk. So we can light this up and then get the water in there and get the cycle started. So let's go ahead, let's start uh, doing the pump, get the little valve in, and then we can uh, fill it up with water and then get it underneath, uh, underneath the light. All right guys, so here, this is the little valve I got. I think it was like a couple bucks. So let's get the pump out. Nice little pump, I think this thing was like $15 or something. And uh, good for a five gallon. See how tiny that is? So. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to slide this off to the side. You can cut off a little bit of extra here. So we'll cut that off. What we need to do is put this valve in before the pump. So this will keep any uh, back water backing up into the pump. It's important. Make sure you put it the right way. It actually has in and out on the side of it. 
and that's what you're going to do. So we're going to stick that on the end of here, like that. And what we need to do is grab a little piece of the little piece of the pipe. And you got to put it on the other end of the valve. So we can attach it to the pump. Just attach this to the pump. That part is done. So now I can just hide all this plumbing up inside the gumball machine. You gotta be careful here. So I'll just bring it over here. So we don't want it to kink, we'll just roll it around up in there. Just like that. So what I'm definitely gonna ha have to do here is I gotta figure out, I gotta notch this a little bit so it'll fit flush. But for now, let's just get it into place where I sort of want it to sit on my, on my desk. So I'm thinking about somewhere around there, it's gonna sit. And then we're gonna mount this mount over top of it. With the, put the 52 or the 26 over top of it, just like that. So let's get some water into this, and then we can figure out how we're gonna mount this uh, light. All right, guys. So what we have to do now is uh, we're gonna mount the D and D uh, LED uh, hanger. So what we have to do is we got spots here. You guys see it's grooved for. Uh, you put screws in it, but there's actually a clamping mechanism if you want to actually put it like on the back of your tank. It's pretty easy. So what I did is I got a four x four piece of beam. I just uh, drilled it right through onto my desk. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mount that on there. So let's go ahead and do that. I wanna do that before I got the tank all filled full of water so it's so much easier to move. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's just move the tank to the side. We gotta figure out what height, what height we're looking at here. I'll just bring you guys in closer. So you guys can see that four by four beam back there. So we gotta figure out the height. So let's put the top onto the tank. And let's get the LED. We want to get somewhat of a half, half decent height on this thing. Somewhere probably around something like that, I'm guessing. So let's start with that. It's so got one. Now I'm just going to get, let's put a level on it there after. Put a level on it. There we go. Pretty decent there. Should move down me a bit. Right Good thing about this mount, you can move it up and down if you want because of the slots. We'll just put four in it. Just like that, boom. And then we can put our put our little Pico underneath that. And it looks pretty good. I'll take uh, some pictures for you there after. Show you some more close-ups. So what we have to do now, guys, is uh, we got to mount not mount, but we have to mix up the salt water. I use D&D &D H2 Ocean Salt. So we're gonna mix that up and we're gonna fill this tank up, turn on the pump. I'm thinking I might, might have to get a valve for that pump. Depends how much air is gonna come out because I don't want it to really disturb the tank. But uh, we're getting there guys, let's just keep moving forward. Farm hand. So we got the, the 26 HD, it's all mounted over uh, the Joker. We got everything mounted up perfectly. So the other thing I have to do, so you got your app from AI. You just open that up and you just, you just connect it over Wi-Fi. So right now I can turn them all on. Let's see if we can get her to go here. So there we go, we got it all turned on. Um, then we can just play with our blues and stuff. And uh, I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this from home, but it looks pretty cool. I'll bring you guys up closer. If I have to put a filter on there, pull in some of that blue so you guys can check that out. But it looks good. So with any little build, um, I got a piece of art here from Reef Weeds. It's a small little uh, Joker polyp with its own little easel. You guys see that? So just as a character, have its own little piece of art. Put that right beside it like that. And I got a, 
a Joker uh, Hot Wheels car just to put inside it as well. And here's the top, but when I'm running the tank, I want the light to go through. It's going to help, you know, keep the water warm, plus the light for the corals as well, but we can always put the cover on top as well. See, it looks pretty cool. So we got the water mixed up here. I got some water all ready to go right here. Um, what I use is a D and D H two ocean salt. A D and D was awesome. They come with these smaller little buckets just for like you know uh, like your nano tanks and everything. So it's easy. You can just you know put underneath a shelf. And uh, this I've been using this on all my other tanks. It works great. I sure love it. So that's what's going to be running uh, the Joker tank. Just D and D H two ocean salt. You guys should really try that. It's really good salt. Okay, so. We're gonna get that water in here. We're gonna turn the pump on and uh, I'll bring you guys up nice and close personal so you guys can check that right out. So well, let's go ahead, let's put the water in it. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way for now. Right here, so I got my water, it's all mixed up. So let's slowly put it in. Here, I'll bring you guys closer. You guys can see uh, it's all taken down. <sighs> So let's start pouring we'll pour the water in here. I don't want to move the sand around too much so you guys won't be able to see. I might have to actually uh, make up a little bit more. It's hard to estimate how much I'm going to need. Stirring up the sand a little bit, not too bad. All right, I gotta actually mix up a little bit more. I uh, judged that one a little wrong. <laughs> All right, farm hands. So we got it almost topped up there. Just got a little bit more to put in it. So each day, <clears throat> a little bit's gonna evaporate each time. So just always, every time it evaporates, you just want to use uh, RO water, never add more salt. But we'll have to keep an eye on it. So we'll center that up. All right, look at that, it's looking pretty good. Let me see if I can uh, zoom out for you. All right, so we got it all full of water. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get you guys in here. So that's what it's looking like so far. There's gonna be a little bit of stuff floating around. Um, I'll end up just uh, taking that out. But now we just gotta let this tank cycle. You guys see, just that's perfect, just enough air. But we're gonna have definitely have some evaporation. You feel a little bit of heat coming off the LED, so that'll help uh, keep the water the right uh, temperature. Now, the way I always use, uh, like cycle my tanks, I end up using uh, Genesis. I'm gonna see here, I'll put a picture up for you. Can't really see it, but uh, I use Genesis uh, bacteria to start this. And what I do is I'm just gonna ghost feed this tank with a little bit of Rod's food in there. And uh, that'll feed off for the bacteria to feed on. And then we'll be able to start putting some uh, little nano fish in there and uh, start adding some corals. But it's gonna look really awesome, guys. It's coming along really well. So you can even put the top on if you wanted to and still it's a little bit of light in there. But yeah, looks pretty decent. And then we'll just get some, uh, just need one drop of this for this tank, and we'll be good to go. All right, farmhands, so we got the Joker up and running now. We added the D&D H2 Ocean Salt. We added some uh, Polyp Lab Genesis and bacteria to get it going. We add a little bit of Rod's food in there as well, just so the bacteria have something to eat, which is called ghost feeding. So it turned out really well. The 26 HD on there, the D&D &D mount. That's uh, perfect. And uh, thank you, uh, Rachel Fogel, for doing uh, the custom paint job on there. And that little uh, piece of art as well. It really, really turned out really well for this. So keep tuning in, guys. We're going to do updates on this. We still have to pick up corals are going to go in there, or what, what fish we're going to stock it with, and uh, end up what will fit in there. So we'll do a couple water changes, some water testing, and we'll see how far and long ago uh, we can keep this Pico running and hopefully be successful. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Please subscribe and hit that like button. All right, I'm trying to get all uh, Farm Boy refish here while I'm doing my enamel coat on the Joker base. I'm going to try to do four to five coats to really keep it, um, oof, to really get it protected. All right, so there's one coat. We'll let that dry. And then we'll do another.